So pretty much, let's all let's take a little journey. Let's take a little journey because I'm about to give y'all some fucking tea, girl. Let's sip. Let's sip. I know you can see my wig back there. Yeah, she be hanging up, girl. She hanging. She posted. A few days ago, I made a vlog about uh, fat girl problems. Okay. And the blog mod got a lot of bullshit from it. And I, I'm sorry that people told you to kill yourself. That's fucking crazy. But that had nothing to do with me per se. Um, I never once said for you to kill yourself. I just said that your blog promoted a way of thinking that was fucking crazy and triggering. And it was body shaming. And it was all correct. It's not like what I was saying was a fucking lie. The problem that people had, I suppose, is that people were okay having disordered thoughts. And they were okay thinking that, you know, my body is fucking disgusting. And that's the only way for people to change their bodies. Because you can't love your body and fucking lose weight at all. That, that's, that concept is out of the window. Um, for a lot of these people and it was really it was really a shame to for them to come out and try to fucking come at me and I'm just like boo no one's mad at the blog mod no one's mad at the person who runs the damn blog I'm just saying the opinion on the blog is very far from the message that you guys are talking about you guys are trying to convey I understand that that a lot of the problems were submitted but it's like if it's a it's, if the blog is called FACO problems, okay, and the problems that you're submitting are actually problems with people with low self esteem, call it that. Maybe it shouldn't be submitted on your blog. But once again, I'm not telling you how to run your blog. I'm just telling you if you're telling people that your blog is one thing, if you're telling me that your blog is a fucking apple, then why am I seeing oranges all over the damn shit? That's where I was coming from. If you're telling me one thing and I'm seeing another, why would I not comment on it? That's the point of freedom of speech to fucking be able to give your opinion and to be able to expose things for what the fuck they are. What kind of life are we living if we can't just be straight up? If someone finds something fucked up with my message, I'm sure they would make a video and be like, this bitch is talking about this and she's talking about this. The person behind the blog, why would I not like that person? I don't know her. All I know is her blog and I don't fucking like it. And that's my opinion. She could not like my blog. She could not like me. That doesn't matter. The main point was I'm able to talk about my fucking opinion online. Sorry. So this girl that uh, I, had a, I had a problem with earlier in life, I'm not going to tell you what the problem was because, you know, she, she decides that she wants to talk about it. Um, but let's, but let's talk, but let's, let's read, let's read what this girl wrote. She said, so can I say that I'm so glad, capitals, uh, you don't like that Tatiana girl either. She spelled my name wrong also. Uh, she is rude as hell and so are her little followers. Most of them are fat though, so they're not little at all. Um... I asked her like a month ago why she feels like she can talk shit about everyone. Everyone is in caps. But as soon as, as soon, capitals again, as someone doesn't agree with her or states their own opinion, this bitch flips a shit. She tries to make it seem like she can do no wrong and her opinion is the only valid one. I wish you would stop trying to pick fights with people just because we have a fucking opinion. And Thacko Problems retorted, it's not that I don't like her. I don't really know her. It's that she created so much unnecessary drama and bullshit. Everything in my world and everything in her world, I'm assuming, was just fine before all of this. Now keep in mind, everything in my world is still just fine because I just said my opinion. It's not like I launched a hate attack against this blog. I just said this blog fucking sucks to me because any blog who says one thing and does another is a bullshit blog. So this girl asked me, and do we have a date, boo? Do we have a date? We must have a date. We do. October 8th. So it wasn't a month ago. Uh, she, th this was 12 days ago, actually. Um, Y'all love it. I love it right now. I love fat checking niggas. Here we go. Here we go. This girl sent this question to me after I made my pay it forward video. Keep in mind, I cried in that video and I didn't mean to cry. Um, I didn't want to fucking cry in that video. But it was real shit. The fact that someone donated $50 to me like yo that fucking helped me so much um I just I couldn't believe so so keep in mind this is in response to that video right why is someone donating to you for a clothing line yet you stated that you were laid off shouldn't you be more concerned about getting a job and then going after your dreams are you gonna live off of everyone else who feels sorry enough to donate to you like, I don't know. I'm just not understanding the logic of this. And please, spare me the attitude that I know you have. The first question I answered was, why is someone donating to you for a clothing line, yet you stated you were laid off? I, I, re I replied to her, I made a video talking about my situation and people who were able to give me, give, alright. I made a video talking about my situation and people who were able to help me did and are. It's not all about the money. If it was, wouldn't I have said give me money? I didn't say that. I said I was looking for a job, still am, 
still am, and that things were really tough for me and that while I was already on the bottom, I wanted to put a clothing line together and people decided to help me out. My second reply to her question, shouldn't you be more concerned about getting a job and then going after your dreams? I replied, how do you know I'm not concerned about getting a job? What information supports that I'm not sending out my resume every day to multiple employers, which I have? Uh, would I rather have a fashion line than a job right now? Not at all. And I still remain that. I, I like the amount of work that I'm doing, I feel amazing about. I feel amazing about my clothing line. But it's still, you know, what if it what if it doesn't sell? You know, what if no one gives a fuck about it? That it's still like a big risk. Um, I would much rather be making money cons consistently, and while I'm working on that, I'm also working on my plan B, which is my fashion line, which is what I want to do above anything else in life. So while I want a fashion line, I know realistically a job is better to have. Number three, are you going to live off of everyone else who feels sorry enough to donate to you? And I was kind of startled at that. I said, when the donations stopped coming in, I had $340, which is, which is the truth. I spent 328 on my first shopping trip to the fabric store, and that was when the donations were at $248. So I actually overspent on my credit card for my own dream, because uh, I didn't think anyone else was going to donate any more money, and I didn't expect anyone else to. Uh, when the final total came to 340 I was able to pay off on my credit card all the money that I took off of it, and I had $18 left. I finished my, my reply to that with saying... I'm not sure how I'm living off of less than $20, but uh, I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, her fourth sentence that I, her fourth sentence was, like, I don't know, I'm just not understanding the logic of this, and please spare me the attitude I, that I know you have. And this is how I chose to end uh, my interaction with this one person. You know what I'm not understanding? Why any of this matters to you? I'm very sure that you didn't give me any money to start this business, so it's not like that. That $18 I have left, it's coming from you or your ends. And you sure as hell didn't send me not one letter of encouragement, which is the truth. I had a whole bunch of people like saying, oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. And this girl, I actually followed her blog. I actually liked her. I thought she liked me as well. And she didn't say anything about this until now. Um, I wrote, are you upset that someone who admits their financial situation in life was helped by so many people that she might never meet? I'm not sure why people giving me a leg up when I'm already in the deepest hole of my life prompts you to send this snarky and assuming message. But you know what? You have a wonderful ass day and I pray the sun gives you the shine you were looking for because I felt like that question, the barrage of questions that she sent me was just kind of like, you know, you're dumb. And I think that if you're poor, you should do it like this and not like this. While I agree that I would love to have a job and while I agree that I'm looking for a job, I don't have a job still. So I'm not going to just sit around on my butt all day doing nothing when I could be working towards having something. That's, that's what this girl said to me. We didn't have a problem, you know. Um, I, I didn't have a problem with this girl. I just wasn't sure where the fuck she was coming from. Because as far as I'm concerned, if I have a problem in my life and I choose to talk about it and someone comes at me fucked up, you know, I usually do have an attitude. But in this situation, I broke down everything that she said and I was like I, like do you not see what you're saying to me like you know what all egos aside I have no problems with anyone anyone that I've ever apparently had a problem with because I've seen all over on other people's vlogs oh that Marf Mole girl is such a bitch blah 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 but it's like really you know um at the end of the day I don't think about any of the shit that goes on online because fuck it it doesn't matter to me especially stuff that happens beyond my control so with that said, I just think it's really, really funny that this girl fucking totally lied. Totally, totally, totally fucking lied. Um, just to try and gain sympathy and her hatred for me. It's just so funny um, how serious people get about this internet shit.